hello guys welcome back to our videos so in this video we're going to explore how to do a floating point addition how to add two floating point numbers like this example here you have uh, a binary number a binary floating point number 1.000 uh, times 2 to the, two to the minus 1 plus minus 1.110 uh, times 2 to the power of minus 2 which is basically uh, uh, plus half plus or minus 0.4375 here is the algorithm that we should follow in order to do you know the floating point addition and why we need an algorithm because based on that algorithm we're gonna design you know uh, a circuit you know that can do that for us because there are many you know uh, we should agree on some sort of you know uh, of steps in order to do the addition it's not like doing addition using paper in the hand so the first you know uh, step is to compare the exponent of the two numbers and shift the smaller uh, you know exponent uh, either uh, you know right until the exponent uh, and shift i'm sorry the, the fraction you know to the right until the exponent would match the larger amount because for example you know let's even talk about decimal numbers like uh, 10 to the power of 1 plus uh, 2 10 to the power of 2 we can't add these numbers together but yeah, this is for example 1 but if we say for example you know 1 10 to the power of 1 plus uh, 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 20 10 to the power of 1 then we can add them together so basically this will be, be 21 10 to the power of 1 okay so we could add them only when they have the same exponent we can also do this in that way we can say this is like point uh, uh, 1 10 to the power of 2 plus 2 10 to the power of 2 so this is basically uh, 10 point uh, 2.1 10 to the power of 2 which is basically of course 21 point um, 21 times 10 to the power of 1 that's exactly what we're gonna need here to do in the first step so in our case here this is minus 1 to, the exponent here is minus 1 the exponent here is minus 2 so according to the algorithm here we should shift the smaller number to the right until its exponent matches the bigger exponent okay so let's check what we did here so uh, the smaller exponent here is uh, is this one here so minus two so basically we're gonna uh, uh, write this minus one point one one uh, to the power of minus two in that way we're gonna shift right so to that to that direction so it will be basically minus point uh, zero point one 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 two to the power of minus one okay that's the first step the second step as we did here we add the significant okay so we should add now in the second step that you know uh, significant plus that significant so this is basically the addition let's do it 1.000 minus 0.111 so to do this this is basically like a subtraction to do it let's let's yeah, let's understand how to do it together so uh, this is like a subtraction so first ignore the binary point so 0 minus 1 can't happen so we're gonna uh, we try to borrow from that zero we can't borrow from the zero but this zero will will try to borrow from that zero but again it can't borrow from that zero but this zero now the third zero to the left will borrow that one so that one will be zero and this zero will become two then the second zero will borrow one from that zero so this this zero become one and the middle zero will become two then the first zero will, will borrow uh, one from that two, so it become one, and it become two by itself. Then two minus one will be one. Then one minus one is zero. One minus one is zero. 
and the point. So the point will be in the same location, and then zero minus zero will be zero. So that will be the new significant. Point o o one, and the exponent will be the same. Two to the power of minus one. Good. Then remember that in uh, in MIPS or any microprocessor, we should agree to the IEEE format, floating point format, in which you have one point something two to the power of exponent. So one point fraction two to the power of exponent. This is of course not in that shape. We should make normalization as we said. So what we should do, we should you know bring that one to here, to the left part you know of the, of the number so we can do that and basically decrease the, the decrease the exponent by one that's basically you know the normalization step number three here so this is basically the normalization step so uh, each step we go we increase you know the exponent or we decrease the exponent by one so this is minus one this is another minus one so minus two this is minus three so minus one minus three will be minus four and you see here guys there is a loop because in hardware we do it in multiple times multiple iterations not one iteration okay that's why we have a loop here okay the final step so we, we 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 will pretend that we did the loop so we're gonna do uh, the fourth step now the fourth step is to round the significant to the uh, you know appropriate number of bits let's say for example in that case here you know uh, one point three zeros let's say that you have only two bits let's say so for the fraction so in that in that case you should remove that zero or make rounding Okay, but of course in that case here, you know, uh, because we said that it's a, it's a four page, it's a four digit a binary uh, example, so that's basically uh, you know enough for us. We don't need to do the rounding. Okay, so the round will lead into no change, and of course there is no overflow or underflow. Okay, so what is basically overflow or underflow? Remember, guys, that you know uh, the exponent part, you know, uh, have you know some number of bits. So the exponent shouldn't exceed, uh, you know, uh, it shouldn't go beyond, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, beyond some number. Okay, that's why we might have uh, overflow. For underflow, remember, guys, you know, the minimum exponent was one. And the bias will be uh, or minus one, and the bias will be uh, minus one plus one twenty seven. So this will be uh, basically. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This will be uh, plus one. This is the minimum exponent. We we you're gonna subtract one twenty seven with one mi minus one twenty six. So we can't go below minus one twenty six. We can't say, for example minus 127 that's that's wrong okay that's basically guys you know the and for the you know the the maximum exponent as we discussed before it was plus 127 so we can't we can't have we can't have like a number uh, you know something multiplied by 2 to the power of 128 that's also wrong okay that's basically how to do the addition in the next video we're gonna explore a circuit, a design for a circuit that exactly implements what we just discussed here uh, algorithmic, uh, in, in, a, in algorithmic way. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.